Okay, hi John, thank you for coming for your checkup today. No worries. Excellent. So I'd like to start by asking you a few questions. Okay. Um, any medical problems at all? No, nope, not the more off, fit okay. and healthy. Brilliant, okay. And any problems with your tea? I wouldn't say any major problems. I sometimes get a bit of sensitivity and a bit of pain at the back because I think I've got my wisdom teeth coming through and occasionally my gums bleed a bit when I try and sort of brush or floss. Ah, okay. So how long has that been going on for? Um, a couple of months, if I'm honest. Okay. And any pain from there at all? I wouldn't say any, like, real harsh pain, but you know, just a little bit of discomfort occasionally. Ah, so we'll look into that for you. How about um, your toothbrushing habits? I generally do brush twice a day, but admittedly some days it's only once. Okay, that's fine. And how about um, do you use an electric or a manual toothbrush? I use an electric toothbrush, yeah. Okay. Um, is that all the time? Yeah, most, most of the time. Yeah, I do have a backup manual if I'm like going away travelling or something rather than taking electric, but normally it's electric. Okay, and how about cleaning in between your teeth? Um, yeah, I'm not so good with that. I, I do try, but I find it a bit fiddly and a bit frustrating. but. Probably like two or three times a week, maybe, to get around to doing that. And do you generally get food stuck in between your teeth or not really? Um, no, not too bad, no, but when I do kind of floss, I do get a bit of bleeding. Okay, so we do recommend brushing your teeth twice a day and cleaning in between your teeth um, at least once a day um, and doing that before you brush your teeth, basically. Okay. Um, so that'd be great. How about um, other social habits, smoking and alcohol? Yeah, a bit of both, I'm afraid. Okay, um, how many do you smoke? Uh, only about three or four a day, so I'm actually quite a light smoker, but um, drinking I tend to have a couple of pints after work. Okay, so again, smoking and alcohol both affect your teeth and your health generally. Um, smoking obviously can cause gum disease, it can cause staining and discoloration of teeth and bad breath as well. Um, so we recommend obviously to stop smoking, much healthier for you. Um, and in terms of alcohol, um, I think for men it's 14 units per week, so one pint is two units. So if you're generally having um, sort of a couple of pints a day, that can very quickly accumulate up to the um, maximum recommended um, allowance. So definitely recommend cutting back on that if you can do. Drink plenty of water. Okay. <laughs> okay, and how about your diet? Yeah, I think it's fairly average, you know, I, I try and be healthy, but we all have a takeaway and a few snacks every now and again. But... Okay, is there much sugar or acid in your diet? Um, I like a bit of sweets now and again, a bit of chocolate, yeah, um, so yeah, I guess so really, and maybe some fruit juices, quite like that in the morning. Mm, okay, so um, sugar and acid are both things that are bad. Um, for your teeth. Um, obviously things like chocolate are high in sugar, so if you are going to have them, it's best to have them all in one go rather than snack on them throughout the day. Okay. Um, and fruits um, also have natural sugars and natural acids in them, so these can also be damaging for your teeth. Um, also sort of best to have them in one go rather than not to snack on them during the day. Okay. Okay, lovely. Is it okay if I have a look inside your mouth now? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's do that. The skin on the inside of your mouth there. You can see there's some signs of cheek biting. And no ulcers and no sores. Your palate. And stick your tongue all the way out for me. Say ah. Ah. Uh, 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 fine. And back in. Lovely. Put your tongue to the top of your palate. And to the right hand side. And to your left hand side. And that down. Excellent. Next we'll be checking the hard tissues of your teeth. You've got eight partially erupted. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. You've got all your teeth there. Next, I'd like to check your gums. Just going to be measuring your gums with my instrument then. Okay. I don't 
just remove that. Just like to also check um, your jaw and um, any lymph nodes underneath your chin there. So lift together. Any tenderness or pain there at all? No. Okay, and open nice and wide. Bite together and open nice and wide again. And lift together, no picking or pain there at all. Mm. Excellent, okay. Um, so I'd like to take some x-rays of your teeth as well to just make sure you don't have any problems and also to check out your wisdom teeth. Okay. Okay, brilliant. Once we've got your x-ray results, I'll let you know the results of them and if there's any treatment that's needed, we can discuss that together. Okay. Brilliant. Any questions so far? No, all great. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much. Um, we've had your x-ray results through. Everything's absolutely fine. So I'm glad to say you don't have any cavities in your teeth. Great. I'd like to um, recommend you to brush your teeth twice a day and to clean in between your teeth as well. Um, and other than that, we will see you in six months time. Any problems in the meantime, you can come in and let us know. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you.